by Squarespace. We are in the FileCut Pro interface and let's go and see how we can create the fake rotating camera effect and also create a very interesting transition. As you can see, I have already placed the two clips that we will work with today. We're not gonna need any extra plugins, so this is a tutorial with no plugins required and let's see what we're gonna do. We're gonna select the first clip and we will go into the inspector panel on the right and we will use the rotation. On the rotation, you can change, for example, 180 degrees to bring the upside down or 270 degrees to take it a little bit on the right and I will add a keyframe. I will go where the end is of the clip and then I will change this to zero. By doing this, as you can see, I have already started creating the rotation. But what do we see is that when it's starting to rotate, we have black empty space on the right and on the left. And how we can solve this? We can solve this by go again into the spectral panel where the scale all is and we're gonna zoom in so we don't have any black left. Now keep in mind here that you need to have the best resolution possible in order to zoom in and don't lose a lot of detail. So if you're working on a 4K and you shoot to 4K, it's acceptable, it's not going to be the best resolution, but if you shoot in 4K and you work your video in 1080p, it's going to be perfect. And if you shoot to 6K or 8K or 12K, yeah, then we're talking, it's going to be the best resolution possible. And as you can see, here is how we can rotate the camera. Now you're going to ask, it's a little bit slow, how we can make it more fast. You can make it more fast if you have the duration of the clip to be shorter. Right now it's almost 9 seconds, as you can see. Or if you want the zero here, for example, let me cancel all this. If we go here again in the beginning and we set this to 270 degrees and we add a keyframe and we make the transition to the first three seconds, as you can see here, and change that to zero, you will see that the transition is going to be faster. And of course, if you make it to two seconds or one second, the transition is going to be faster. What do you say now to go and see how we can create the transition? We will go into the second clip. Again, with the same process, we're going to add on rotation 270 and add a keyframe. We will go to the end and we will change that to zero. And we will go here where the change happens and we're gonna scale it so we don't have any black left. And as you can see, we go from the first one that it's spinning. To the second one. And let's make things a little bit interesting now. First, we will go into the transition. We're gonna grab the cross dissolve. We're gonna place it between the clips and we're gonna make it a little bit longer. Now we're gonna select all of these clips and we're gonna press option G to create a new compound clip. And after we finish with that, we can go and press the R in our keyboards we're gonna select the start and finish of this one and when we start the next clip we will go here and we will make it 20 times faster so we created a speed ramp as well and we have the cross dissolve the speed ramp and the result is gonna look very similar to what you saw in the beginning You can play with this, you can play with the speed ramps, and of course you can play with the rotation and the scale, so you can zoom in or zoom out. And if you have any questions, I'm waiting you in the comment section down below. Let's talk a little bit about Squarespace now. If you don't know who Squarespace is, it's an online platform where you can get your domain or build your own website without having any knowledge at all at web design and web development. With Squarespace, you can choose between uh, templates that are created from high-end designers and you can use them as your structure to start building your website. So, if you're a creator and you don't have a website, 
Head over to squarespace.com slash Emilio. You can try it for free first. And when you're ready to buy, you can use the coupon code Emilio and get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I hope you found this video helpful, you liked what you saw, and if you did, don't forget to like this video, it helps a lot to rank this into YouTube. Let's help people to discover this channel if you like it and you want to suggest it. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Emilio, and I will see you in the next video.